Hi there. Uh, here's an unboxing video for you of the Baofeng two-way radio. This is imported from Hong Kong or somewhere. Um, this uh, VHF UHF walkie-talkie was $31 on eBay. An incredible price. Let's show you what's in the box. So. A little thank you note with the purveyor's card, a little user guide. It is in English and it doesn't look that bad actually. Uh, and the first thing I noticed about this box when I received it was how light it was. Um, it's light as a feather. And here is the actual radio. It is tinier than I anticipated. And there I go, throwing it around. So there's the radio. There's a little charger, I assume. And the battery, which is even tinier. So how do you get the battery in this thing? Looks like you have to unscrew this screw to get it in. And let's find the antenna. Extremely tiny. And uh, to show you how that compares to, I, I have a Wuxon, one of these, um, I forget what they're called, UBG1s or something. So there's a comparative size of these two radios side by side. Anyway, let me um, get the, the battery in this. Oh, okay, I was mistaken. You don't have to take that screw out to get the battery in. Doesn't seem like it's going in. There we go. That battery clip isn't really held in that strongly. I'm going to have to figure that one out. Anyway, there it is. Now I gotta read how to use this thing. Now one question comes to mind. Does the is the antenna swappable with the Wuxons? And this is clearly no. So that's not going to be swappable. But anyway, there you have it. The UV 3R from Baofeng, the tiniest little dual bender that I've certainly come across for $31. So see, let's see what else you get in the box here. Uh, this looks like a speaker mic combo. Well, not speaker mic, but a earphone with microphone and there is a little push to talk on this so that's kind of I haven't had one of those before so we'll see how that works out what is this just a carry strap I assume with beautiful Chinese writing on the ribbon isn't that pretty 
Okay. Why would the this be so long for something so tiny? Maybe it's a lanyard. And I assume this is part of the charging, but I don't see how that works. Hmm, how does one charge one of these? Battery clearly sits in there. I would assume that I need some kind of... Oh, here we go. So... There we go, folks. So this goes in a recessed plug way up in there. And this will go on here to adapt it. A bit kludgy, but I can't complain about the price. 5 volts at 500 milliamps. I'm going to have this thing in my pocket all the time. There you go. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys.